Hey everyone, this is David Craig White, B2B Sales Coach. And in this lesson, I'm gonna give you an introduction into the fundamental steps of the B2B sales process. Now, I'm sure we can all agree that we need to know where we're going in order to know how to get there, right? And we usually use a map for that. In B2B sales, the sales process is the map, okay? It's what takes you from engaging with a prospect to getting them to sign a deal. Now, there's dozens of small steps in the sales process. I'm not gonna cover all those now, but what I'm gonna cover is when you simplify it, it comes down to four core stages. The first stage is called prospecting, and this is the hardest stage. That's the bad news. But the good news is it gets easier as you progress through the stages. So the better you get at the first two stages, the easier the rest is gonna be, all right? Now, if you're lucky, the company where you work might already do some of the hard work for you. You might be getting inbound leads via marketing or partners or some other inbound source. But for most of you, this stage is probably going to include endless hours of sourcing companies, contact names, phone numbers, emails, and engaging in outbound prospecting methods, prospecting, prospecting methods such as social selling, cold emailing, and cold calling. Now, prospecting in short is finding the people who might, and I repeat, might have a need for your products or services, okay? So prospecting is finding the people who might have a need for your products or services. Once you've made initial contact, asked a few questions, qualified that there is a need, this is where we'll move on to stage two, which is qualification. The qualification stage is where you need to convert prospects into opportunities otherwise then called your sales pipeline. Now, in this stage, the focus is very much on asking a lot of questions, yeah? Because you need to ensure that your prospects have a real need for what you offer. You'll probably also qualify and cover things such as asking for their budget and the overall decision process that lie ahead. Now, make no mistake, the qualification stage is the most important stage of the sales process. And it's the stage where most salespeople suck. All right, if you fail to qualify prospects correctly, it's gonna have a direct impact on your sales results. If you qualify poorly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create amazing looking pipelines that don't convert into shit. Yeah, because you'll spend your days chasing prospects who never really qualified for what you had in the first place. And I can tell you from experience as a sales leader, Every sales leader's biggest pain in the backside is forecasting sales results accurately. It's always their biggest pain. Yeah, and that's because most salespeople create massive pipelines full of softly qualified opportunities that never convert into business. So if you don't want your sales manager to hate you, learn how to master the qualification stage. And the main tip I'd give you at this stage is Make sure your objective when qualifying is to qualify out. Yeah, so you wanna be trying to qualify each prospect out, not to take them any further. Now that might sound a bit strange, I know, but you're probably thinking, like, what, what the hell is this guy talking about? But, but if you try and qualify out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of the time wasters faster, and that's gonna give you the focus and the energy to be used on the real opportunities. All right, so that will, in, that will basically improve your close ratios. All right, next stage, the presentation stage. This is where you finally get to pitch. Now, most salespeople, and I mean most, they, they've already delivered their presentation halfway through their qualification questions. Yeah, this is something I call micro-pitching, which I'll cover in another lesson. Your goal here in the presentation stage should be to deliver a presentation of your product or service that shows your qualified prospect exactly how you can help solve a problem or achieve a goal, what they've shared with you during the qualification stage, okay? And if you do this well, your job is almost done. There's just one more stage to cover, and that's everyone's favorite, the closing stage. Closing the deal, getting the sale. All right, in this stage, you're typically gonna be handling objections, negotiating price, maybe going through procurement, like legal or finance and things like that. Um, but most importantly, this stage needs confidence. 
Yeah, because if you want to close the deal, you're going to have to ask for the business. Your prospects can't say yes if you've not asked for the sale. Now, funnily enough, closing is always the stage of the sales process where people say they want most training. Yeah, they're always like, yeah, I need help with closing. But if you're struggling to close deals, it's usually because you've actually nothing wrong with your closing skills most of the time. It's because you've not executed on the earlier stages of the sales process very well. And I would probably say qualification is the biggest reason why most people fail to close. All right, so that's it. Prospect, qualify, present, and close. Sales success is yours. Big commission checks coming your way. If only it was that easy, right? <laughs> Unfortunately not. It's important to note that the sales process never ends. Yeah, it never ends because if you're smart, when it does end, you should treat it like a recycle system. So when you close a deal, your next stage should then be to slip straight back into the sales prospecting stage and start asking the companies you've just closed, so the happy new client you've just got on board, start asking them and get used to asking them every time if they have anyone else in the network what they think might be able to use your solution. Yeah, and again, it's a bit like closing the sale. If you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, so don't be afraid of asking. If you get good at asking for referrals, then that means you're gonna spend less time in the prospecting stage. You're gonna have to do less cold calls, less cold emails, and all the hard work, okay? That was that. So that's all for this lesson on the sales process. Thanks again for listening, and of course, I'll see you next time.